I can't remember the last time I was this excited for an episode of Golfing the World as we focus on Muni's. We're here at George Wright Golf Course in Hyde Park, Massachusetts. When, when this place was originally being built in the early 30s, I think it was 32 when it started, it was meant to have been a private golf course. And then some dep the dep depression hit, so that it became the very first million dollar public golf course in America. Um, George Wright was a, one of the first Hall of Fame baseball players. He, he was also a Hall of Fame tennis player. And then after his career, he started the, the show Wright and Ditson, or the, the golf shop Wright and Ditson. And he was the one that got we met his golf clubs and got him out to play golf. All right, so the 12th hole, I didn't take Scott's advice. I tried to hit driver anyway, but there's a lot of different ways you can play it. The view is beautiful from the tee box. You just gotta be smart with that tee shot, and when you come down, you're gonna have that big, beautiful landing area in front of the green. Lots to work with. As long as you're smart, it's, uh, it's an easy hole to make par. <laughs> easy, okay, maybe not easy, but it's fun. You know, Donald Ross is, is famous for the runoffs, the, 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 the drop-off areas, and if you look over here under the left, we've kind of reestablished that here, where the, you get near the edges, it's gonna run off into the chipping areas. The false front over here, if you don't carry it 10 feet on, it's gonna roll right back down. Just typical of all Donald Ross golf courses. The clubhouse is a classic. I mean, it goes all the way back to when this course was originally built, and you can see the old architecture. Uh, you, can, you can actually feel what it was like to be here when, when the course was first created, and they've done so much to bring it back to its original glory. That back patio is awesome. But just walking in the front doors of the place, you know you're coming into someplace special. <laughs> Yeah, so we're excited. So we're the first public to, to host the, uh, the Mass Amateur. That's a lot of pressure on us and we think we're up to the challenge. Um, I think that also shows how well both courses are playing, not only um, George Wright but also Franklin Park. They're a tremendous partner for us. Uh, the fact that they're showing us that confidence, uh, we want to make sure that they have a great experience. We've got some more work to do to get ready for the tournament, uh, but I think people are going to be really blown away by the condition of the courses. Mm -hmm.